Well, hi, everybody. Hope that your week is off to a great start this fourth week of the season of Lent. Uh, Looking forward to this coming Friday, March 15, where we will celebrate our third offering of the Stations of the Cross. The format this time is our family outdoor Stations of the Cross. Please come inside to the church first where we will gather and then we will move outside to uh, pray together the Stations of the Cross. That will begin at 6 p.m. And then immediately following stations, our Parish Life Commission is hosting a St. Patty's Pizza Social uh, immediately following the stations as a way of acknowledging uh, the closeness to the St. Patrick's Day uh, uh, holiday uh, on Sunday. So please be with us Saturday, uh, beginning at 6 p.m. Actually, if you can't arrive a little ahead of time here in the church, then our stations will begin outside at 6 p.m. Then, looking ahead to next weekend, we will be celebrating the third and final of the three scrutinies with our RCIA participants. Please continue to keep them in your prayers as they draw closer and closer now to the celebration of their sacraments of initiation, baptism, confirmation, Eucharist at the Easter Vigil on Holy Saturday night. And if at all possible, if you could make plans right now to be present for the Easter Vigil, that Saturday, March 30, beginning at 8 p.m. Wouldn't it be a great and powerful sign to our newest members to see a standing room only church filled with fellow disciples who are there to pray with them and pray for them and to welcome them into our spiritual community of faith here at St. Anne. And you can still go to church again uh, on the next day, Easter Sunday as well. So uh, please do consider uh, joining in prayer at this most important and most powerful liturgy throughout the year. And as well, uh, mark on your calendars, Holy Thursday, evening Mass, the Lord's Supper at 7, Good Friday, the commemoration of the Lord's Passion at 7 p.m., and the Easter Vigil beginning at 8 p.m. on Holy Saturday night, and our usual Sunday schedule, 9 and 11.30 a.m. on Easter Sunday. And after the two Easter Sunday Masses, we'll be offering our kids an opportunity for a little Easter egg hunt down the hill, which means that we are relying again upon you to help us with uh, acquiring uh, small plastic uh, Easter eggs filled with a little candy treat that we can place down the hill for the Easter egg hunt. So there are plastic bins in the lobby of the church and by the outside uh, of the uh, inner door of the parish office, uh, you can bring them whenever it might be convenient for you but we're looking to acquire a a whole bunch of plastic Easter eggs that'll make Easter Sunday morning Easter egg hunt a real treat and a delight for the kids that'll be coming with us to pray. Also, as you uh, continue your prayer, please don't forget a prayerful participation in this year's annual appeal for Catholic ministries. Uh, The easiest way to do that is go right to the Archdiocesan website, uh, click under giving, annual appeal for Catholic ministries, and it's a very easy, safe, and secure way to make your pledge gift and to do it uh, in a way that recognizes your association with us here at St. Anne Church, because 10% of what we raise comes right back to us here at the parish. And also, looking a bit farther ahead, don't forget, we are looking for both young people and adults to participate in our Baltimore work camp. Please check uh, all of our communication means to find uh, all the various needs that we have uh, to help our young disciples grow in their lives of service and ministry following in the very footsteps of Jesus who came not to be served, but to serve the needs of others. So it's hard to believe that Holy Week will be upon us uh, rather soon. Uh, Very exciting, uh, joyful uh, introduction to the great 50 days of the Easter season. So mark your calendars and make that holy week, a truly holy week, a most unique week of all the 52 weeks in that we live together. Do take care and God bless.